My name is T.S. Eliot. I'm a poet. Some say a great one. In your time, that's comparable to being Tupac Shakur. I didn't have a Biggie Smalls in my life, unless maybe Ezra Pound. You might be familiar with these words. We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. We poets were not the only voices in my world. Half of the harm that is done in this world is due to people who want to feel important. They don't mean to do harm, but the harm does not interest them. To read my poetry was to explore my thoughts. Poetry may make us from time to time a little more aware of the deeper unnamed feelings which form the substratum of our being, to which we rarely penetrate for our lives are mostly a constant evasion of ourselves. I tried to go deeper. I said to my soul, be still and wait without hope, for hope would be hope for the wrong thing. I observe your world, but it is not my place to comment. I will say, we know too much and are convinced of too little. Our literature is a substitute for religion and so is our religion. Why did I write? It was my passion. My advice to people who want to write? It is obvious that we can no more explain a passion to a person who has never experienced it than we can explain light to the blind. One does not ask to experience a passion. And now you have self-publishing. And they write innumerable books being too vain and distracted for silence, seeking everyone after his own elevation and dodging his emptiness. My only suggestion to new writers, people to whom nothing has ever happened cannot understand the unimportance of events. My final advice, I will show you fear in a handful of dust. Your time will have its own voices and fears. Of that, I promise you.